Are things coming to an end if Frankie has his hair tied back like a complete sissy fairy boy without caring? Eh, possibly. So it's never been so obvious that the powers that be are rolling out something dangerous in the form of faster Wi-Fi. And whether we want to link these towers directly to the Toyota Corolla, that's up in the air, doesn't matter. You know, there's evidence for that and against that. But well, logistically speaking, a lot of these towers are getting rolled out now under our noses when we're locked at home. Popular petition to block rollout due to health theory deleted to stop the spread of misinformation. <laughs> to stop the spread of misinformation. This is absolutely ridiculously comical. If it was any more obvious, we might actually have a shot at waking up the sheeple. Just like those people saying, non-ionizing radiation isn't harmful. Hey, buddy, it's radiation. All radiation is harmful. British towers are being set on fire because of theories. You know what's funny? The CIA actually created this term. So if anyone tries to dismiss what you're saying using that term, just tell them who created it. Phone masks are being set alight in the UK after online theories have misleadingly linked the cell towers to the Toyota Corolla. The BBC reports at least three towers were set alight within the last week and police and fire services were called to extinguish the flames. If this was so wild and crazy, why are these mainstream news articles trying so hard to debunk it? Why is everyone trying so hard to convince people this isn't dangerous? On the point about the phone masks, uh, thank you again for mentioning it. Um, the story somehow got about that uh, uh, they play a role in the, in the, the spread of the disease. Uh, that's just nonsense, dangerous nonsense as well. Um, and I'm hand over to uh, Steve to say a little bit more about uh, the vital importance of uh, knocking down this rubbish. Yeah. Uh, so the final story is complete and utter rubbish. It's nonsense. It's the worst kind of fake news. The reality is that the mobile phone networks are absolutely critical to all of us, particularly in a time when we are asking people to stay at home uh, and to um, not see uh, relatives and, and friends. Uh, but in particular, those are also the phone networks that are used by our emergency services and our health workers. And I'm absolutely outraged, absolutely disgusted uh, that people would be taking action against the very infrastructure that we need to respond to this health emergency. Uh, it is absolute and utter rubbish. Infrastructure you need to respond to this health emergency? <laughs> really? Is that the best you morons could come up with? Let me tell you government idiots something. If people didn't believe in this theory before, they certainly do now because you're a bunch of disingenuous pricks. On what godforsaken planet can you justify the installation of these new towers? Every single cable company is working overtime to put this weaponry in place. They're hiring massive amounts of technicians. Why do they need so many? Probably because these technicians are getting sick and dropping dead installing these weapons. There is no justification for this being essential. Everyone already has Wi-Fi in their homes, super fast internet. Why in a time of need? A time of crisis, potential food shortage, no toilet paper, are they installing these towers like it's nobody's business? Simple. It's part of their surveillance system. Without these towers in place, they can't monitor and control anyone who speaks out against the agenda. And that is necessary for communism or socialism. I mean, who gives a shit they're the same thing? Depending on how deep you look into this new technology, you'll see various negatives. It could be the study where they killed a bunch of birds, birds literally dropping dead out of the sky near these towers. I heard cows were going crazy. They put these towers near a farm and the cattle were acting erratic. Of course, you have the symptoms that resemble the Toyota Corolla. Dry cough, fatigue, general cold-like symptoms. It boggles my mind that the mainstream media is saying this new Wi-Fi isn't dangerous, when every single study done on this has found the opposite. I don't understand why people are saying that we should do more research. When the research has been done and it's clearly dangerous, this non-ionizing argument is absolutely ridiculous because these frequencies are causing damage. Technology, why should we expect a shift 
from RF-induced brain cancers to skin cancers. The non-ionizing RF EMF can behave like high LET ionizing radiations, which have the maximum energy deposition per unit distance. It's worth noting that Yakomenko et al. have reported that among 100 peer-reviewed studies regarding the oxidative effects of low-intensity radiofrequency radiation that were available at the time of their study, in general, 93 confirmed that radiofrequency radiation induced oxidative effects in biological systems. The study literally says non-ionizing EMF can behave like ionizing EMF. And 93 out of 100 studies confirmed oxidative damage from allegedly non-ionizing radiation. Here we have a study confirming that this type of radiation is associated with cancer. Evaluation of the validity of a nonlinear J-shaped dose. Response relationships in cancer induced by exposure to radiofrequency electromagnetic fields. There is some evidence indicating that. In a similar pattern with ionizing radiation, the carcinogenesis of non-ionizing RF EMF may have a non-linear dose response relationship. In this paper, the evidence which supports a non-linear J-shaped dose response relationship is discussed. In every single scenario, more non-ionizing radiation equals more cancer. Why do we have a bunch of clowns running around saying non-ionizing radiation isn't harmful? This doesn't even have to be related to the new higher frequencies. Even our current cell phones are considered harmful. Risks to health and well-being from radiofrequency radiation emitted by cell phones and other wireless devices. In the interim, current knowledge provides justification for governments, public health authorities, and physicians, allied health professionals, to warn the population that having a cell phone next to the body is harmful and to support measures to reduce all exposures to RFR. You know what's even more convincing? There have been dozens of studies conducted on people living near the towers themselves. Survey study of people living in the vicinity of cellular phone base stations. The results that were obtained underline that certain complaints are experienced only in the immediate vicinity of base stations, up to 10 meters for nausea, loss of appetite, visual disturbances, and others at greater distances from base stations, up to 100 meters for irritability, depressive tendencies, lowering of libido, and up to 200 meters for headaches, sleep disturbances, feeling of discomfort. Neurobehavioral effects among inhabitants around mobile phone base stations. Inhabitants living nearby mobile phone base stations are at risk for developing neuropsychiatric problems and some changes in the performance of neurobehavioral functions either by facilitation or inhibition. Subjective symptoms, sleeping problems, and cognitive performance in subjects living near mobile phone base stations. Despite very low exposure to HFEMF, effects on well-being and performance cannot be ruled out, as shown by recently obtained experimental results. However, Mechanisms of action at these low levels are unknown. Subjective symptoms related to GSM radiation from mobile phone base stations, a cross-sectional study. The symptoms most related to exposure were lack of appetite, lack of concentration, irritability, and trouble sleeping. On top of this, I bet I could bring up hundreds, probably even thousands of studies associating various types of frequencies with different types of cancer. Electric, magnetic, electromagnetic, you name the field, we are getting cooked like chickens, baked, microwaved. Our brains are getting fried. Even in our current society, this is what's happening. Right now, what we're being exposed to, that power line 100 feet away from me, is emitting a magnetic field that is causing damage, but people are used to it. That being said, there's no coming back after these new towers are set up. There's no need for them outside of the total control of the population to set up whatever type of crooked society they want. When they turn these towers on, whether it's three months from now or six months from now, a year from now, it's going to be very easy for them to cover up any problems with a mysterious disease or sickness. You see how easily people were convinced just by staying at home and watching the news all day. No one went outside to question what was going on. The few that did are being silenced and dismissed by the mainstream media. It's absolutely comical. We might as well be living in a fake 3D virtual world at this point. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. If you could please, uh, you know, support the channel, like, subscribe, share the video. As you know, most people, well, really, no one wants to talk about this stuff. 
Uh, so if you guys do want to support me further than that, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality animal foods. That's always been my goal as you know, animal nutrition is the key to us being you know, the best physical versions of ourselves. Uh, but with you know, these towers set up, no amount of steak is going to protect you from that type of stuff. Uh, you can also go to Oregon Supplements if you guys aren't in the US. Uh, you can check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And you can go to frank-stefano.com if you guys would like to check out my book, my carnivore course, or get a free carnivore diet meal plan. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Hope you're doing okay.